Tax Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Stadler & Company, the tax pros. It's Tax Tip Tuesday. Lori's back with us today, and we're going to focus in on those who do a little freelance, a little gig work on mm -hmm. the side, and the important information you need to know to make sure you're tracking your income, your expenses, and, of course, reporting it all to the IRS, yes. right? Um, so today, as we focus in on this, are we talking about what types of workers? I mean, there's a variety of people that do freelance, right? There are. It can be anything you do on the side, or if somebody's going to 1099 you for the work that you're doing doing for them. So it's really what we're talking about. It, yeah. Okay. So they're going to they're going to report you. You need to report yourself. That's right. <laughs> so when it comes to reporting the income, it is important that you do this cuz we often hear people say just pay me cash, mm -hmm. right? It is. But you still got to report it. Cash is income. If you say somebody paid me cash on the side, the IRS is expecting you to report that cash as income. What if what if you don't? And what if eventually you get caught? How bad is the penalty? You are going to have audits and lots of penalties, lots of interest, and they're going to look for all of that. And the IRS does look for statistics. They know uh, whatever type of business you have, they have statistics on this much is paid in cash percentage-wise, this much is paid in credit card percentage-wise. And if you're outside of a normal range, they may look a little closer. So um, our next thing that I saw pop up was deductibles. What, mm -hmm. is, what does that mean as far as these types of employees? The deductions. So the expenses that you have are a little bit different than if you're an employee. Okay. And so anything that is ordinary and necessary for you to do the work you're doing is a deduction from what you have to pay tax on. So if you're a musician, mm -hmm. your instrument and mm -hmm. the work that you do on that is a deduction? It is, oh, yes. Well, Music that you purchase, yeah. See, there are ways <laughs> to get around at least hopefully not paying too much, yeah, right? exactly. Okay, so we've kind of tackled those two areas. Let's talk about that self-employment tax because there are a lot of people out there who have their own businesses. If you have your own business, you're not only going to pay income tax, but you're also going to pay self-employment tax, which is about 15% of your net earnings. And net earnings means subtracting out your expenses first, and then whatever's left, you're going to pay that extra 15%. That's where you need to have more deductibles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. truly, though, you do yeah. need to make sure you're counting all of that up, and that's where you all can help with that process, exactly right? Exactly right. Yeah, to help you see the whole picture of what your business is going to look like. Well, because none yeah. of us again want to give money if we don't have to to the government they right. take enough as it is so our final subject when it comes to these freelance workers is when you're going to have the higher earnings it's planning ahead because Planning is the preparation in all of this, isn't it? It is. Knowing what, uh, to, what to keep, what to account for. But when you're earning about twenty five to 30000 or more after your expenses, there are some other strategies that oh. you really should be talking through with your tax advisor to see if there's a better way to save you some more tax and keep more money in your own pocket. Because when you're reaching those higher tax brackets, I assume then the... You're, you're paying more just by a percentage, but are you paying more because you're required to pay more when you reach a certain level? or Well, it, your tax bracket goes up, uh, okay. so you're actually paying more on it, and then that self-employment tax is amplifying everything else. Uh, there's yeah. always something, and these are always the questions that we encourage you to ask. Mm -hmm. And you can find a lot of information by going to the website. Of course, we invite you to go there to stadlertax.com, mm -hmm. and by visiting the website, you can learn more by scanning the QR code there on the screen it'll take you right to the website which once again allows you to find answers schedule appointments tells you what you need to bring when you show up to those appointments too which I think is helpful information oh, yeah. well thank you so much this is an important topic because a lot of people out there do a lot of side hustles exactly so this is important to know all right it's tax tip Tuesday join us again next week for more great information from Stadler and company